Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline and fans you're back with me Mike Spider Slayer getting ready to bring you that all important comic book review so you the fans can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And today fans we're going to do a quick review because I don't have much time today but we're going to do a quick review on Secret Wars issue number two. Uh, just giving you a heads up if you guys have read plenty of comics in one sitting please give yourself a break and Take your time and read this book. It's very involved. It's Jonathan Hickman, and he's basically introducing a brand new world right before your eyes. And my hat is off for giving Jonathan Hickman such doing such a great job in creating this expansive world. He could have done something really cheap and just slapped a few things together and changed things. No. In this issue, he has taken his time and created such an immersive world and, and, and really has done a great job with this. And anyone who's read Hickman's writing before, it's very involved. And uh, you can see that when you read this issue, it is very involved. Uh, here I can show you some of the uh, artwork in here real quick uh, as you get to see a Thor uh, picking up a hammer. And, uh, you know, you get to witness uh, a whole police of Thors. And there's Thors that work for Emperor God Doom. Uh, God Doom is in control of Battleworld. And uh, he is the one that it just they worship and uh, it's it, it is crazy that doom has kind of created this world um, and throughout this particular issue uh, you get to see the eyes of a young Thor and his introduction into uh, this world here um, you get to see how this universe was basically created and uh, it looks like some time has actually passed um, we get to see some of our heroes that we have been familiar with in the past come across a, uh, an, a one of the rafts uh, that were in the actual incursion here. Um, what happens is amazing, I, I think, uh, but you get to witness to see a trial and what um, Victor Von Doom looks like in this actual world um, and the people that surround him, which is uh, Sue Storm and Valeria and, and everybody else. You get to witness battles. You find out um, each person has their own like sector uh, in this particular issue. There is so much story involved here, but it's so well explained. You just have to give yourself the time and read it. I really loved it. And uh, one of my favorite parts in this particular issue uh, is we find out that a few of the characters from the Ultimate Universe are still around. And one of those people is Thanos and Reed Richards from the Ultimate Universe. And by the time you get to the end of this issue, you're introduced to the whole Battle World map once again, so you can get yourself familiar of what's going on uh, and get to learn all these sectors here. Um, another one of my favorite parts in this book was um, line number 41, which is right here otherwise known as shield and it's like the great wall of china where people are sent uh to a sentencing to go against the marvel zombies the ultrons and the annihilation uh and you get to witness that in here too so that's a place where you don't want to go and this wall is to keep all the other sectors protected and victor von doom uh or Doom is the one that actually is the one that created that with his own hands. So really an immersive story here. Take your time to read it. Really appreciate what Hickman has done here. I think this is so far a great event. And I can't wait to see these side stories so you get to learn more about these individual sectors. So great story here. Really loved learning about all these Thors and being introduced to this world. Um, I bet it took Hickman a long time to do this, but this is a great creation on his part. And after reading this issue, I like this one much more uh, than issue number one. Even though issue one was really good, I give this one a five out of five stars. Truly can't wait to see what happens moving forward with this. Uh, 
Did not expect the ending here and uh, great stuff. So guys, please tell me in the comments below what you thought of this particular issue. And fans, as always, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. And until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye.